Hi everyone. For today's video, I thought we'd take a look at these old Lionel train catalogs. Now for those of you who don't know, I recently attended a local train show and they were just giving these catalogs away for free, so I thought I'd snag a few of them. I could have grabbed more, but these are the four that really caught my eye. This one's a Centennial Edition, 2006 with the Hiawatha on the front, and the cool thing about this one, it's never been opened. I also grabbed this 2003 with the Santa Claus on it, I thought it looked pretty cool. And probably the best find of the day was this 2004 Lionel train catalog. Now what's so cool about this catalog is that this is the first year that Lionel announced they would be releasing the Polar Express. So why am I making this video? Well, I thought it would be cool to go through this old catalog just to look at the few Polar Express pages in it and see how much things have changed. All right, so we're about to go back 12 years ago, guys. That would have been my early days of elementary school. So opening this catalog up, you really get a lot of nostalgia for these old ready to run train sets. This is the way it used to be guys. Just a simple loop with a CW80 transformer. You didn't need those train sounds or anything. All you needed was a little whistle tender, a few train cars and you were set. When this catalog was released, I think that Fast Track was relatively new. Here's an old Thomas the Tank Engine set. And here we go, guys. Now this is the Polar Express section. I think this is what most of you are interested in seeing. So first let's take a look at this side of the catalog. What's so neat about this catalog is that all of the images are pre-production models. So I'm gonna hold these figurines up close here and you can see they're just artist renditions. They're not even actual models. Another thing I'm noticing, which has actually got me pretty excited, is that take a look at this Polar Express. Do you notice anything different? Those wheels, they look white. And you know what that reminds me of? Is the HO Polar Express. So what does this mean? Well, it appears that when Lionel announced their O-Gage Polar Express, they didn't include the black wheels with silver lining, but the final model did. This leaves hope that Lionel is going to release an HO Polar Express with black wheels and a silver lining. Another cool thing that they did here is they had to really sell you this product. They must have known that this train was going to be a hit to put it on the front of their catalog. Some of the features on the train are just simple things like an air whistle, an operating headlight. Another thing that I noticed is that these cars, they look rather bulky and they look very long in appearance. It makes me wonder if the original passenger cars were intended to be bulkier and longer in design. Here's another thing that I noticed. Take a look at this. Do you see that? The little red light on top of the observation car. It's very obvious that they intended for that light to illuminate. The end of the observation car also looks very fancy in appearance. Oh, look at that. They put the boy at the end of the train car. Good job. 2004 Lionel. Now here's something I'm glad that they didn't incorporate into the final Polar Express train cars. Look at the silhouettes of the children in the train cars. They take up the whole window and they're all looking outside the window. I don't know what it is, but it kind of looks creepy to be honest. They should be doing their thing inside the train car. They shouldn't be looking outside the window. And the marionette car silhouettes, they look pretty much the same. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Back in the day, they used to pay attention to external details like the handrails and the whistle, stuff that you won't find on budget trains anymore. Oh, and take a look at this. Only $249.99. I looked up the price of the Polar Express nowadays, $400. So I pulled up my inflation calculator here and it appears that based off inflation, this train set would be worth $320 today. So it went up around $70. I'm sure the reason that the current Polar Express models are $400 is because nowadays they use the Lion Chi remote controls, they have special sounds in the tender, they've really come a long way. The only complaint I have about the current Polar Express trains is that they don't pay attention to little details like the handrails and the whistle anymore. That's just something they did away with to make this set cheaper to produce. Here's one more thing I want to point out. It says here, do not miss out on this Lionel O-Gage exclusive. So it makes me wonder if Lionel was the only train company that approached Warner Brothers about licensing the Polar Express name to make train sets. That leads me to wonder if this is exclusive to Lionel, I wonder why MTH never decided to make a Polar Express set of their own. I wonder if Lionel beat them to it. I'm not sure how all that would work, but it would have been really interesting to see an MTH Polar Express. So that is the only page featuring Polar Express stuff in this catalog. 
And if we flip the page here, again, very neat, big colors. You don't see these illustrations anymore. Just a lot of Christmas stuff. They even had G-Gage back in the day, this little Silver Bell Express. And the rest of this catalog is just your average train sets. And then, oh, yes, this was, let me point this out before I close. This was a big deal. Look at that, available in 2005. Oh, that's next year. This train was the most advanced O-Gage model train ever produced. In fact, this train set could be one of the most detailed and well thought out O-Gage trains ever produced. Don't believe me? I would encourage you to search on Google Lionel Acela. You will see the details on this train are absolutely amazing. And look at the price, $2,000. That would be over $2,500 today. So I hope you guys like this video. It's, it's always neat to look at old train catalogs and see how far Lionel's come. If you guys would like me to do a full catalog walkthrough sometime, leave a comment below and I'll definitely consider doing it for a future video. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day.